Welcome to PLR.me. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to navigate around the screen and enable you to find content quickly. Now, there's a lot of content in PLR.me and it's really important that you get to know where everything is. So the first place to start is in the products menu. So if I click on products, the menu appears and what you're going to see is we have three sections. One is called top products. One is called popular categories and one is called product types. Often I will click on new products to see what is the latest product that is available. But at the moment, what I want you to do is I want you to think of one of the categories that you would like to use. So here we have the popular categories. And let's say I want to find an article about meditation, reflection and journaling. I can just click here, the screen will load, and I will see that there's 143 brandable coaching resources in meditation, reflection, and journaling. Now, if I scroll down, I start to see these resources here. Now, there's many types of resources that we have, and over on the left-hand side here, I can filter by the type of resource that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to filter by articles. And I'm going to open this in a new tab just to show you and then I'll come back to this screen. Now it tells me there are 73 articles in meditation, reflection and journaling. And if I go down here, I can see the first six articles on screen. So let me just navigate this area here. You see the name of the article, 10 Wonderful Reasons to Meditate. You see that it is part of meditation, reflection and journaling. And the resource type is articles. Now, this will cost me one credit to download. I can do a quick download or I can actually add this to a collection. And we'll talk about collections in another video. Now, every resource that you find in PLR.me has a credit value. An article which is something that you will use on your blog, is just one credit. But something more advanced, like a slide deck, could be five credits. And then a full course could be 50 credits. Now, if I think that this is exactly what I want, I just click on the quick download. Or what I can do is I can click on go to item. In go to item, I see the title, I see an image of the actual um, resource I'm going to download. I see the download button and I see the credit value. Let me just draw your attention to the top right hand side here where it tells me how many credits I have remaining. Depending on the account you signed up for, this will be more or less. Each time I download something, my credit value gets reduced. So I'm going to download this in just one second, but before I do that, I want to show you a couple of important things. On every resource, there will be a title that says, here's what you get. And it'll tell you the formats that you get the resource in. For example, PDF, text, and doc. There will be a sample. There'll be a description. And on the right-hand side, there will be tags. Now, tags are additional ways that this resource has been categorized. So if I wanted to find an additional resource, I could actually just click on one of these tags and it would actually search by that particular keyword. So this can be handy, but really this is something that once you get used to navigating the plr.me um, area, then you can start using the tags. But speaking about related content, if I scroll down I have related products. So this is very handy because a lot of the times what I can see is I can actually see related products that may complement what I'm actually downloading. Now, let me quickly download this item. And it will download, and I'm using Chrome, so it'll appear down here on my screen. I'm also using a Mac, so the unzipping is a little bit different. But we have a video which will show you how to unzip on a PC. So if I click here, the item gets unzipped and it's just here. And if I double click here, I see that this comes in in PDF, 
text and word. So I'm going to open up the PDF version. When I open that, I see the fully formatted version of this article. Now, I could use this straight away. I could print it out and give it to my clients or potential clients because it's it's perfect. It's perfectly formatted. It's easy to read, etc. Or if I wanted to use this on my blog or I wanted to edit the content, which we do recommend that you edit and put your own voice on the actual content, I could just double click here and I have it in text format. So I could now use that as blog content. I could break it up and use it as a series of tweets or I could use this as a Facebook post. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Now, if I just close this, one great thing is that if I find content and I say, oh, that looks interesting, but I'm not sure if I've downloaded it. If I have actually downloaded, this button appears called re-download. So that's a very quick overview and we'll get you started so that you're able to look around and find some interesting content to download. In another video, I'm going to talk more about product types and resource types.